I'm out in Kawartha Highlands, Ontario, Canada. And this is the first time I've ever been out to this provincial park. So yeah, it's gonna be an interesting trip. I uh, decided I would try out what's called the Serpentine Loop. And you get to it by heading out to access five of the park. And I'm right now I'm on a lake that's uh, Anstruther Lake, if I'm pronouncing it right. Um, yeah, so Kawartha Highlands, what can I tell you about it? Not a whole lot because I haven't been here. So Anstruther Lake, there's a, you might be able to see around me in the background, there's some cottages and I'm gonna head to the first portage, uh, get to the next lake and then the deeper you get into the park, uh, the more wilderness it is. You know, I, I always kind of hesitate when I say the word wilderness because we're definitely losing true wilderness. Um, but this is a part of Ontario Parks and so it is a designated area that uh, we're protecting here in Ontario. So since I've never been out here, I thought I'd come and check it out. So it was a five hour drive, a bit over five hour drive for me to get here uh, just because of where I live in Ontario. But Kawartha Highlands is actually the second largest provincial park south of Algonquin Park. So it's actually only, you know, it's like an hour north of Toronto. So yeah, it's later in the day. Uh, had a lot of delays getting going, but uh, yeah, it's around three o'clock now. I don't have that far to paddle in. So I'll probably be paddling for about an hour or two hours. Uh, I have one small portage of uh, 210 meters. And yeah, then I get to my campsite for the night. So yeah, nice easy day. Check out the park. So Serpentine Loop. There's a few different little lakes on the loop. So I'm gonna be staying at, uh, I believe it's called Rathburn. I'll have to confirm it later on with you. Rathburn, then Copper, then Serpentine, and then North Rathburn, I think. Um, yeah, if I decide to stick to that plan. So we'll see how the trip goes. We're supposed to have incredible weather. It's, uh, it's early September, so the nights are getting cooler. The trees are starting to change color, but not really. You know, you'll see, you know, some, some kind of yellowy greens happening here and there. Maybe a bit of reds tucked away in the leaves. Um, but yeah, today is like 23 degrees Celsius. And tonight we're supposed to get down to about 12 degrees. Uh, tomorrow night they're saying that it's going to get down to, I think they're saying three degrees, so that'll be a bit chilly. Uh, so I've packed accordingly and, and brought a thicker sleeping bag. So yeah, anyhow, I'm here and I got some paddling to do. A little bit of a wind coming from the west. Uh, there's also a lot of, uh, well not a lot, but there's some motorboat traffic. So. Instead of chatting to you and rambling on, I'm going to just focus on paddling and getting to my first portage.
Well, I'm approaching the portage and uh, thought I'd just check in with you before I get there. It's been really nice paddle so far. You know, sure there's cottages, you know, lining the shore and, uh, you know, the odd motorboat go by, but, you know, the other boats, they've been really respectful and they've kept their distance. There's been a little bit of wake, but, you know, hardly anything. And, uh, yeah, the scenery's just been, you know, really pretty. So. I checked out, you know, a couple of the little coves. I saw a heron, you know, just feeding along the shore. And, uh, yeah, it's been nice so far. So I'm enjoying it. So I just pulled out my, my map slash kind of itinerary and uh, having a look at it. So again, I'm on uh, Anstruther Lake and this next portage is it says here uh, 201 meters so I don't know if that's a typo or if it's supposed to be two, 210 either way very short portage and then the next lake that I'm going to be heading to is called Rathbun so I thought it was Rathburn but it's Rathbun um, yeah and there's only uh, it looks like there's only a few oh what's that one two three or five campsites on it and yeah I picked one that's semi west facing so hopefully it's nice and hopefully I got my directions right when I booked it so yeah it's super nice day um, like I said it, it was around 24 degrees midday and yeah it's just really nice clear hardly any humidity for a change this summer it's been you know at the beginning of the summer it was just really hot and no rain and then in August we had just really hot and very high humidity and uh, tons of rain so actually rained a few days this past week and then today was the first day of sunshine and it's supposed to be nice and sunny today and tomorrow and Sunday um, with a chance for rain on Monday, so I believe. I've got it written down. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm enjoying myself so far. So, anyhow, I'm gonna get to the portage and we'll check that out. Okay, well, I'm at the portage now, and yeah, it's been actually kind of busy. A lot of campers coming and going, so I've basically just held back and let everybody clear out so that I, you know, can respect their privacy and their trips and whatnot and not get them on film. But uh, yeah, one thing I noticed is that the portage sign here says 162 meters. So that's different from the map. I already carried the canoe and the food bag over and uh yeah it is all uphill 162 meters well between 162 and 200 meters whichever is right and yeah all uphill so anyway let's have a look at it So you can see it's really not too bad of a portage. It's well worn, you know, it's a portage. So it's uphill, there's, you know, rocks and tree roots that you have to look out for, but overall it's uh, it's not bad.
Okay, so yeah, this is the other side of the portage. Now, I want to show you something. It's kind of neat. So, you find this in uh, some of the lakes and, you know, and around Ontario. It's like the parking lot for cottagers' canoes. So you can see the cottagers who, you know, have their cottage on other lakes bring another boat over and uh, leave them out here because obviously you're not going to portage something big and heavy like an aluminum boat more than once. So, you know, same goes for the canoes. So if you want to go out and look around and, you know, explore your area, you get a second boat and leave it on another lake. And that's why you should never take a canoe that you find at the side of a lake. Chances are it belongs to someone.
not too shabby at all. So yeah, nice level, a couple nice spots for a tent, nice and level, semi-level, wilderness level, um, fire pit, picnic table, nice view of the lake. Yeah, this is a nice park. I'm surprised that I haven't never been here, but uh, I'm glad I'm here now. Anyway, I've, uh, yeah, I've probably only got an hour left of sun sunset, sun, I probably only have an hour left of sun. So I'm gonna get my camp set up and find something to eat. And yeah, hopefully watch a sunset. Okay, so I've got the tent set up, sleeping bags inside, got my food bag hung, and tonight's dinner is out. Dinner is nothing special. I know I'd be running late. Well, I was running late. Got here at, like I said, around 3 o'clock, so, you know, late start to the day. So all tonight's dinner is going to be is some, uh, some rolls and cheddar cheese and salami that I picked up at a deli along the way. So, yeah, instead of having you watch me eat, I'm going to set up to do the sunset, and with any luck, we have something nice.
I never had a chance to eat while well, setting up the camera. I'd look for some uh, some wood for the fire and you know whatnot. But yeah, that's all right. Finally getting to it. Beautiful sunset, eh? It's been a good day so far. Saw that heron. Saw a beaver. Nice sunset. I wasn't sure how quiet it would be out here either, but it is actually incredibly quiet. I can hear some animal in the bush behind me. I've got a small light on, otherwise you wouldn't see me at all. Can't see past it. Probably just like a squirrel or a raccoon, not too worried. But yeah, no, I, I didn't expect it to be so quiet. Lots of people traffic coming in and out, but it's nice that uh, there's not many campsites on each lake. So, you know, I'm in this little cove. There's no other campsite in this cove. I see way across the lake, or I did it. I did earlier on, I could see the light of a fire. Another creature behind me on the other side. It's probably the same one I heard over here, avoiding me. It's small. But, yeah, it's nice. Anyway, I'm gonna eat my sandwich. I'll probably put a little bit more wood on the fire. Stay up a little bit later. Have a drink. It's been a long day. And, uh, yeah, then go to bed. So I didn't get a chance to really tell you too much about what this trip's all about. So I'm going to do that tomorrow and likely that'll be in another video. So anyhow, if you haven't, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it if you gave the video a thumbs up and also leave a comment. Don't be shy, leave a comment. Even if it's, hey, not bad video. <laughs> so if you like the video or any part of it, mention that whatever but you know when you leave a comment it helps to elevate my video as a suggested video for someone else so if you liked it maybe someone else will help them and definitely help me so anyway that's all for today thanks for watching